six radios under $650 that you as a technician class amateur radio operator can use for 10 meter single sideband this time on KMRD Radio Stuff. I've been getting a lot of questions lately about what radios can technicians use for 10 meter single sideband that aren't going to break the bank. So I've compiled a list for you. Let's dive right in and take a look. First on the list, we take a look at the Anytone AT6666. Anytone is a well-known brand in the amateur radio world, so I would trust them. $260, this is the cheapest price point we're gonna find today. 1545 and 60 watt SSB transceiver. Uh, also does FM here by the looks of it. Nice looking radio and uh, looks like it does have a, a VFO here as well. Some of these do, some of these don't. Uh, it does the entire 10 meter band. We're focused more on 28 to 28.5 for uh, data and phone for single sideband. And uh, has, has a lot of really good reviews, four and a half stars uh, with 115 ratings. 260, 260 bucks, you, you kind of can't go wrong with that. Next up, we've got the President Lincoln 2 Plus ham radio. This will do AM, FM, lower sideband, upper sideband, and CW. So we're getting a little bit more functionality in here. We also have Vox. It's got a little bit nicer screen, a little bit just kind of overall aesthetically pleasing radio. Uh, we also add the 12 meter band, which uh, once you upgrade your license, you can start using that. Uh, as far as power output, we're looking at uh, 35 watts, peak envelope power, single sideband, uh, instead of 31 watts, I guess the older model, so they, they might have uh, upped the wattage there. And uh, VF, VFO mode, that's important. Some of the other radios, watch for that VFO mode. You definitely want that. Some don't have a VFO uh, or, a, or a dial where you can just tune in the frequencies. You have to kind of pre-program and you can uh, kind of fine tune them. So good upgrade there for $294. That's a good price. Uh, upgrading a little bit more, we're going to get to $421. Again, we're still kind of in the CB world. This is the Stryker SR955HP 10 meter single sideband radio with LED lighting and clear audio. That is important. Uh, I don't think this is as feature rich, honestly, as the President Lincoln. Uh, it, it could have, uh, I would hope that it has a lot better receiver is uh, probably why there's uh, that jump in price there. But pretty neat looking radio. There's all the guts inside there. Uh, let's see, what do we have for specifications? They don't give much on specifications, so you might need to look a little bit deeper into that. But this is just a dedicated 12, uh, excuse me, 10 meter radio and uh, for 421 bucks. Next up, we're going to jump into the ham radio world. I own this radio personally. This is the Zygu G90. This is an HF radio, so we're actually going to be 160 meters all the way to 10 meters. This is a, a full-fledged like ham radio, 20 watts max power. And the benefit of this, you get the, uh, this is a ham radio. So if and when you upgrade to general or extra, you now have a ham radio that you can transmit on all the HF bands as opposed to just being a kind of single banded radio. This is rated for 20 watts. It does have a detachable head. I actually uh, put mine in a little go box. Uh, you've got a nice color screen with a waterfall, a little VFO. It's a very easy radio to use. It's very lightweight. It doesn't have uh, a big current draw. You can get it at Radioddity. I'll leave links for all of this in the description. Looks like right now they've got this bundle offer where you can get the radio, the uh, fan holder, and this data interface for data modes for $446. And, uh, or $446. So that's kind of looking to be the deal of the day right there. I, I, uh, I recommend this radio. Like I said, I own it personally. I use it. I enjoy it. It's a great radio. There's a, there's a great community behind this radio and a great following. So you definitely can't go wrong with this one. Moving up the notch uh, a little bit more. Now we're in the $640 range towards the top end of the scale. This is the ASU FT891. I've enjoyed this radio for many years. This is currently in my car as my mobile HF radio. This will do 160 meters all the way to 6 meters. So a full on, uh, again, HF and 6 meter ham radio. This uh, would be over all of these radios. This would be my personal pick. But again, it's, it's about budget. Uh, you've got better filtering, better receiving, better audio. Uh, it's just, you know, you pay for what you get. So so price is going to be a thing you get. a uh, Now you're up to 100 watts 
with uh, transmit power there, so you can you can get out a little bit more than some of those 20 and 30 watt radios get a little bit further out. Uh, the the noise reduction on this is tremendous. This is really the greatest selling feature of, of this radio, in my personal opinion. Uh, just having that dynamic noise reduction on really uh, brings down the the static and and allows the uh, the signals to come in really clearly. So 639.95 from Gigaparts, and we've also got a, a bit older radio, and and I'm showing you this more just so you can have a, a Yesu and ICOM comparison. Uh, but this is a little bit dated. This is the ICOM uh, IC718. This is an HF radio, uh, $650. Again, it, it is a little bit dated. Taking a look at it, you can kind of see you're, you're, you're not getting much on the screen there. But uh, another radio where you can you can really grow into these last two radios. You're getting full HF radios, the last three really, full HF capable radios again this is a 100 watt transceiver uh let's look at the specs down here we've got uh from 0.3 to 29.9 megahertz of receive capability so full full wide open radio for receiving and uh i believe it is a 100 watt radio as well so but let's not forget the used market i found this radio also if you go to qrz.com this guy is selling uh, an IC718. Uh, looks to be in very good condition. He is asking uh, $500 for this. So uh, new 650, used 500. Uh, it is a smoker home if that matters to you. It sounds like he's, he's kept pretty good uh, condition of this, but buyer beware. I would always recommend uh, using PayPal when buying anything used. That way, if, if you kind of get screwed in the deal you have paypal to back you up you know if he sends you a, a box of bricks uh you can have paypal back you up and last but certainly not least again on the used market is the yesu ft450 this was my very first ham radio uh, or very first hf ham radio i bought it used he's asking 525 dollars shipped i think that's i think that's a little bit high although that is including uh shipping uh, he does say there is a little bit of uh, issue with the fan there, but that could be easy to replace. Just a few screws and uh, probably just a little uh, a little wire that you need to replace in there. So there's a lot of good stuff to peruse the uh, the used market on QRZ. There's a great forum there, so you can kind of scour that every day and, and look for a good deal used. And also speaking of used, get on your local repeaters, specifically if they have a weekly net Get in on the net. Ask, does anybody have any any used, affordable uh, HF or, or 10 meter capable radio that they would be willing to sell you? You'd be surprised. I bought my Yaesu FT450 and a power supply and an antenna tuner for $440 and it was in great condition. There's, there's a lot of great people in amateur radio and if, if you let them know you're new, there's a lot of people who really want to help push you into, into supporting you and getting you on the air. So, you know, money is not the biggest concern with a lot of people. They're, they're happier to, to kind of part with things for, for a really good deal just because they're no, they know they're doing something good to help someone else out. There's a lot of great, most ham radio operators are like that. So get on the nets, go to the club meetings, talk to people, ask around who has some used gear for sale don't be afraid of it and the great thing about kind of local you can go to their house or you can meet up at a park or somewhere you can try it out you can make sure it works versus buying used online but i did buy my icom 7300 used off of qrz as well got a great deal it was in great shape no problem so you do there is a little bit of caution i would i would suggest with uh buying used online there's always going to be that but i would i would stress Talk to the local guys. See what's out there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.